In order to cite a, an excerpt from the textbook, the first thing we want to do is on a blank Google Doc or on your last page where your works cited will be, you'll go to Add-ons and you'll need to hit Get Add-ons in order to add the EasyBib Bibliographic Creator. So I've already done that. I'm going to click on EasyBib Bibliographic Bibliography Creator and click Manage Bibliography. Over on the right, you'll get a little box that says Cite a Source. We're going to choose Book, and in the little box, we're going to either type the title or the ISBN number. The easiest way to get the most accurate exam uh, example is to type in the ISBN number, and you will find that either on the back of the title page or on the back of the book at the barcode. And then click Search. Then you'll make sure that it is the correct book and hit select. When you do that, all you have to do, make sure it's MLA, which we have done, and then click add to bibliography to the document. Now, we want to make sure up at the top, first of all, that we've got Times New Roman, 12 point font. So we're going to have to highlight and do that up at the top. Okay, then over at the far left, because we need to cite a section of the book, not the whole book, we're going to change that italics um, because you only italicize the title of something like a long poem, a novel, or a title of a book. And we are going to type in the author's last name, comma, and their first name. So we do Chaucer, comma, Jeffrey, period. And then we want the title of the section. We're going to do from, and then in italics, because this is a long poem, we're going to type in the Canterbury Tales, period. Take out the italics. And then the translation is by Neville Coghill. So I left off an L, period space and then we also want to include the page numbers which is 142 to 164 period and there you have your cited source